Hello and welcome to Journey to Easter. Today is Thursday, March 9th of the second week of Lent. How's your Lenten journey going? How's the journey to Easter for you? Um, I hope in some way you're seeing things differently, that uh, maybe you're doing things differently. Maybe you're living differently. Maybe you're experiencing the joy of what it means to be, you know, a follower of Christ, a disciple of Christ. I mean, that's what Lent's for, to help us do things just differently. So I hope it's there for you. Um, today's gospel comes from the 16th chapter of Luke. Jesus uh, tells a story about the rich man and, and Lazarus. This particular passage reads that there was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen, and he dined sumptuously each day. And lying at the door was a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, and he would have gladly eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. This story is, is important to us. Uh, it's because of the contrast, I think, of the two lives. You know, in the first part of the story, of course, uh, they talk about the rich man and how he has everything, and he has the best of everything, the best food, the best meals. And, of course, the poor man Lazarus, you know, who uh, doesn't have anything. He, you know, for whatever reason, he's fallen on hard times. You know, um, he would gladly eat the scraps fallen from the rich man's table. The story continues where both die. Um, the rich man doesn't end up in that uh, glorious place of paradise. He ends up in the netherworld of pain and suffering. And the rich, or the poor man, Lazarus, you know, he is taken into that eternal glory, that heavenly kingdom where he has everything. You know, the, the contrast is interesting for us because it makes us kind of think about life. And, you know, what do we want in this life? And our wants in this life, it kind of leads us to possibly what's, where we'll be in the next life. You know, I, I, I know it's a challenge because in our culture today, especially our American culture, we're driven sometimes by you know, those, those wants, not always those needs, but those wants. But I think we have to think about this story because Jesus is trying to tell us, you know, the more that you desire, you know, those, those, those things in life, those material things in life, those riches, uh, it could have a, an effect on, you know, this next life. You know, and it takes us away, you know, from the glories that God, you know, has, you know, awaiting us. Now, it isn't that we have to choose this poor life or to choose this life where we're, you know, lying at someone's doorstep and waiting for the scraps to fall. I mean, we still have to, I think, work hard to take care of, of what we have and, and to provide. You know, that is okay. You know, but what do we do with it? What do we do with our resources? What do we do with the riches that have been you know, given to us or we've been blessed with? Do we take care of others? Our Lenten journey should be about thinking about that. You know, part of our, our Lenten sacrifice is almsgiving, about sharing what we have with others. You know, today's a day to, to reflect and to say, you know, do, do we desire to want it all for ourselves? Or can we take some of what we have and help another out to make their lives just a little bit better? I challenge you today, I challenge all of us to think about what we have and what we can give to make a difference in other people's lives. Continue your journey to Easter.